Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. The eMotion LV1 mixer window is inspired by traditional mixing consoles, so it's not hard to understand it. It provides a broad, multi channel, multi layer view of the entire mixer input and output, routing, aux sends, plugins, and channel parameters. This video is an overview of the mixer window, a map to get you started. Everything discussed in this lesson is covered in detail in later videos. There are four main sections in the mixer window. Mixer layers, mixer channels, the master fader, and various utilities. First, let's look at the mixer layers. The mixer layers represent categories of channels, buses, and controls. There are four layers of input channels. Each layer addresses 16 channels. There's a layer for the eight groups. The aux layer has 16 buses, eight aux effects, and eight aux monitor channels. The auxes are the same, except they hold different places in the mixer signal flow. The masters layer includes main outs, cue, talkback, and matrix. Link DCA is a layer for controlling faders and other controls. There's no audio on this layer. The all layer shows all mixer channels in one view. You can also create custom layers from channels in any layer. The number of layers available is determined in the mixer configuration settings. With small mixer configurations, certain layers are not available and some are not full. Levels, pans, parameter adjustments, and routing are controlled on the mixer channels, which are made up of two parts, channel strips. These control the channels, buses, and controls assigned to a channel, and layer modes. These are tools used for channel processing, routing, input control, and aux sends. A channel strip is organized just like you'd expect from a digital mixing console for live applications. The specific channel, bus, or control that's being addressed by a channel strip changes depending on which mixer layer is selected. A layer is always made up of channels or buses of the same type, except custom layers, which can be made of different layer types. All channel strips have faders with peak meters, plus a multi-purpose pan, balance, rotate control, and mute and cue buttons. The central section of a channel strip controls input, routing, and processing, depending on the current layer mode selection. The strips at the top and bottom of the channel strip are color-coded by layer. All channel strips in a layer have the same color. A selected channel is highlighted and its fader is colored yellow. Layer modes define the types of processing, routing, and controls that are applied to the channels and buses in a layer. There are eight layer mode buttons. Each layer has its own view. Modes are discussed in detail in later videos. The input mode is used to select input sources and to control preamps and digital trim. The rack mode shows all the plugins for all channels in a layer. You can move or copy plugins between racks or within the same rack. Click on a plugin button to open its control pane. The Dynamics EQ mode shows the assigned plugins on every channel in a layer. Sections of these processors can be bypassed or engaged from here. Click on a graphic display to open that plugin's control pane. Use the three aux modes to send channels and buses to the eight aux effects channels, the eight aux monitor channels, or to all 16 aux channels at once. The channel mode lets you see and control everything there is to know about the selected channel or bus without losing touch with the rest of the layer. 
In addition to the eight factory layer modes, specialized modes can provide specific plug-in processing and additional mixer functions. Use the arrows above the input mode button to scroll through these special modes. The name of the mode will appear on the input button. Access to these modes is determined by the LV1 license. One such special mode is Dugan Speech, which is used to control a group of microphones in live settings, such as talk shows, debates, and other unpredictable situations. A layer mode will function more or less the same way in all layers. The master fader controls the output levels, mutes, and Q solo for the main outs, left-right, center, and mono. The master fader becomes the aux channel fader when using the aux sends on fader mode. There are several utility functions that activate controls and provide keyboard shortcuts. You can assign up to eight actions to these shortcut keys. They are assigned in the user interface settings page. This panel activates up to eight mute groups, which are assigned in the channel window. The keyboard button opens your operating system's touchscreen keyboard for text entry. Above the keyboard are latching control and alt keys. Use the link section to select and apply link groups. This has been a tour of the eMotion LV1 mixer window. We've seen the major sections of the window and begun to learn how they fit together and how they relate to other windows. The next several videos will provide in-depth lessons about each section of the mixer window. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.